But we do start with major news from France and Kylian Mbappe has told PSG that he will leave the club. Our chief reporter, Carve Solical, is alongside me and this is huge. Yes, I mean, the background to this is that if you go back to last summer, uh, Kylian Mbappe basically told PSG, I am going to leave in the summer of 2024 on a free transfer. Now, PSG were expecting him to extend his contract by another year, but he said, no, I'm not going to do that. And what PSG said last summer was, we're not going to let you go for nothing. Right, you're never going to play for us again. And we had that standoff last summer where he was left out of their preseason tour to the Far East and Japan, and he was training with the players who were no longer wanted at PSG. But then a peace deal between Kylian Mbappe and Nasser Al-Khalafi, the PSG president. And it was agreed that, yes, he could come back and play for PSG, but it was going to cost him. It was going to involve him having to make some financial sacrifices. So it was basically just a short-term marriage of convenience. And it's been an open secret in the world of football that Kylian Mbappe was going to leave PSG at the end of this season. But we've had the situation where it seems... Lots of people on social media every day, it seems, have been saying, breaking news exclusive, uh, Kylian Mbappe is going to leave PSG. Those reports have been checked out with PSG and PSG have always said, no, that is not the case. We have not been told officially that he's going to leave. Now, the significant thing that happened today, the development is that he has told PSG, I'm leaving at the end of this season. Now, I think the reaction from PSG has been, of course, on the one hand, we saw this coming. We knew this was going to happen. We've prepared for this. Also, he costs PSG something like 200 million euros a year. That is 180 million pounds, an enormous amount of money that PSG will be saving when he leaves in the summer. Yes, of course, he's an incredible player. He's right up there with Messi and Ronaldo. But PSG feel that it's not the worst thing in the world if this summer they carry on moving in the new direction they've been moving in since the departure of Neymar and Messi. An incredibly long, drawn-out saga. We've been discussing his future so many times in recent years. Given what you just said about how PSG see it, is there any way he'll still be wearing that same shirt next season? Uh, I think it is very, very unlikely. I would go f as far as saying it, it is impossible. He's told them... I'm leaving. PSG have known that since January, he's been allowed to speak to other clubs who are interested in signing him. PSG know that he's been speaking to Real Madrid. They know that. And also they know that if he goes to Real Madrid, he's going to have to take a massive pay cut. Real Madrid are willing to make him the best paid player in their history, but there is no way that a Spanish club can afford to pay Kylian Mbappe the kind of money that he was on uh, at PSG. And if I can just break it down for you, his wages at PSG are something like a million pounds a week. I think he's on £60 million a year. On top of that, when he signed a new contract, he got a signing-on bonus of something like £120 million. Also, every summer, he gets a loyalty bonus. The loyalty bonus starts at £60 million and it goes up to something like £80 million. So the whole package you are talking about is mind-boggling, the numbers involved. And that is what he's been discussing with Real Madrid because Real Madrid are going to have to pay him a signing-on fee. They're going to have to pay him massive wages. And also, he has to negotiate with PSG to sacrifice some of the loyalty bonuses that he's due because I think that was a crucial part of the peace deal, the gentleman's agreement that he came to with Nasser al Khalafi last summer, which allowed him to carry on playing for PSG this summer... Part of that was that he would sacrifice some of the loyalty bonuses that he's due. And that all needs to be sorted out before he leaves in the summer. He has felt very much like the jewel in Nasser El Khalifi's crown. How big a loss would it be to the club and also Liga as a whole for Mbappe not to be playing his football in France anymore, particularly as a Frenchman? Well, first of all, I think uh, massive loss for French football. Uh, he is... A lot of people would say the best player in the world. Exceptional talent. Uh, he represents France. He's the captain of France. We've seen the way he performs at World Cups and Euros as well. The last time when he came close to uh, leaving PSG, 
The president of France got on the phone to him to convince him to sign a new deal. The president said to him, you are so important, not just for PSG, but for France, everything that France represents. We want you to stay. And of course, the Olympics is in Paris uh, this summer as well. So it'd be interesting to see him uh, play for France in the Olympics, what kind of uh, reception he's going to get from PSG fans uh, in uh, Paris as well. As far what as about PSG... the Olympics as well, by the way, is that he would get to his new club late, given yes, he'd be so playing he'd, in he'd Paris. Yes, he'd, he'd have to take part in the Olympics. As far as PSG are concerned, so a massive loss for France. PSG, yes, of course. Of course, you know, he is Mr PSG. He's the poster boy, the one that is left after Neymar and Messi have gone. But... As I said, PSG have prepared for this. They've known for a long time that he's leaving. And last summer, Nasser al Khalafi decided that PSG were going to have a new strategy. It was the end of the Galactico era. And he said that to the players and he's made that clear to the media as well. Yes, Neymar was brilliant. Yes, Messi was brilliant. Yes, Mbappe has been brilliant as well. But we need to move on. We need to move in a younger uh, direction and have younger, hungrier and predominantly French players in our squad.